What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Wasteland. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while to play another little jaunt of Convoy. Now in today's episode we needed to go get the 998X chip and so that's what we're going to try and do. I bought the fuel and we're all ready to get our convoy on the way. The area is littered with vehicle wrecks and you realize that this is a popular raider ambush site. Let's book. As you saw it, several gruesome vehicles racing towards your convoy, you realize it's too late to escape. Okay, well we get to see what the flower power is right now. My guess is that he probably sucks. I mean, I've got, let's grab that guy right, oh, we got a chainsaw up here, or, I'm sorry, we got a chain gun up here, alright. Well, let's stun him at the outset, what do you have going on? Can you actually fight with anybody, or are you just sort of like, there's a number of vehicles in this game that are actually completely and utterly worthless, I should have kept that taunter, probably would have made him a little bit more useful, but what can you do at this point? I was trying to make sure that we stayed fueled. Alright, so we'll get that going over here. If nothing else, I can use him as a... God, they're moving around pretty quickly. Alright, if nothing else, I can use him as a ram vehicle. I don't really have much of an option anyway. So he's got a really good shield. That might work. Unfortunately, the shield doesn't absorb hits from, like, ramming people. So, eh, you'll have to take what you get right there. I'm gonna... St ah, the stun went off too slowly. Oh, the stun might work right there. Let's put a couple guys on him. Move out of range on that side. Oh. Well, that might be problematic. Okay, well. I tried to ram somebody into a wall. Unfortunately, it didn't go that way. I wish that it did, but Wang Rock has no vehicles and plowed into the sides of it now. And plowed. It's a new word that I'm making up right now. Impacted and plowed combined. Yup. I really wish you could move the NCV. The fact that it doesn't move is really kind of, like, lame. Like, I wish that it could. It would be great. This playthrough is sort of a middle ground one, in all honesty. There's two ways that you can play the game, ultimately, is that, like, you can go a little bit of loot right there. It's something. It'll get us by for a little while. We're still sort of tied up right here, though. Yikes. That did a lot of damage for, like, how little we've actually accomplished in between here and the last location. So the blue RX-8 chip is in the hands of James Fay. Do I want to fight with him or not? The Sonic Screws, who has those? Torvac has numerous production facilities by finding one of their intelligence hubs. Okay. The signal appears to be coming from a lone rundown garage, strangely situated in the desert. A man calling himself Glenn Matthews, who claims to be quite the handyman, meets you outside the garage and asks if he can look. Sure. He inspects your vehicles closely, testing bits of the chassis and armor, occasionally shaking his head. Eventually, he approaches you and states, You really ought to take better care of your vehicles. Luckily, I quite enjoy fixing stuff. If you'll let me, I'll repair your vehicles free of charge. Now, this is kind of a gotcha. There's two ways this can go. If we accept, he'll either destroy a vehicle or he'll fix all of them to max. Since we've lost a little bit of health, I guess I'll accept. Hey, it worked! Glenn gets to work and manages to completely transform and restore all of your vehicles. He doesn't really want to touch your MCV, however. Afterwards, he shakes your hand and thanks you profusely. Great fun. Try to stay out of trouble, though. Okay, well that helps out a little bit. I don't know if I want to fight through wave after wave of these guys. It might be a better idea to go after the Torvac guys. You see a stranded raider further on ahead. His vehicle appears to be battered and broken. He clambers up from the ground and waves his arm, trying to get your attention. The raider looks severely dehydrated and begs for some water. After refreshing his throat, he stammers, My crew just left me here for dead. Y'all look pretty tough, though. If you want to help me fix my car here, I'll join you and shoot and kill whoever you want. His vehicle is covered in blood, gore, and trophies made out of human body parts. Execute him! You feel a slight satisfaction as the raider slumps to the ground. The vehicle looks too run down to ever start moving again. It seems best suited to scrap for parts. Sure, why not? 30 parts. It's free parts that we didn't have before, so hell. If I can get a few extra parts, I'm not going to complain about it, especially given the fact that in the last couple episodes, we appear to have been treading water a little bit. I'm probably going to try and hunt down quests or something, because we need some cash flow right now very, very badly. The signal looks like an emergency signal. It seems to be crudely edited, as the change of pitch and volume between the different words is quite apparent. Raiders must be using this signal to ambush travelers. Set up an ambush ourselves. You prepare an ambush and wait. Not too long after, several unsuspecting raider vehicles approach your position, and before they have a chance to react, you manage to get some shots in, completely destroying one of their vehicles. We also drank a whole bunch of liquor. That's actually how we lubricate the process of murdering other people, so we got shots and shots in. I don't know how many of these guys are going to destroy me, huh? That's what you're looking forward to. Really, this is what's left, huh? Yikes, that's worrying. Alright, well, let's get on after him. See if we can slow him down with a ram right there. Get a little bit of damage done on this side. We are taking hits right now, so what I prefer to do is let's work our way around to here. And let's start giving some of these guys our attention. The MCV is a little bit roughed up. 
if I can tank some of these or if I can find a taunter, that would really be the superior way that I would want to continue this playthrough. However, it doesn't look like it's going that way. Let's continue to stun some of the bigger, nastier dudes. He's up and out of our hair right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to box this guy in. We will turn our attention to killing him off instantaneously. On this side, we will turn our attention to repeatedly ramming this guy. And there it is. We managed to find our way out of the backside of the combat. I would have rather come up out of the throat, but I guess we'll come up out of the rectum if we have to. We have... We need to get the hell out of here. We need to find some place where we can refuel and resupply. The Mercury's that way. The nearest camp is that way. Ah! A Trovac surveillance drone is following your convoy. Shoot it! The drone is surprisingly agile and dodges. Let's get out of here. We'll also use a suspected drone call for Torvac vehicles. They managed to catch up despite, okay, supercharged to get away. We need to get to the village right now. Additionally, there needs to be some cooldown in between events while you're driving around. Like, sometimes it seems like it takes a long time before you get more events, and other times it seems like you get events back to back to back to back. And I don't really know how to differentiate. This should give us enough to get started again. Scrap that. And that gives us enough fuel. We're barely treading water right now, though. We need to find something lucrative going on. We need to find ourselves a job. Anything that'll help out. Either that or upgrade the flower power and make it more... Did I just sell the only gun that we had? Damn it. I should have put that on the flower power. I should also give the flower power a taunter. It might be a better plan. Got an event over here. Let's go take a look. The signal appears to be coming from a privateer camp in the distance. It seems as if there's a lot of activity in the camp, but you don't think they've noticed your convoy yet. After finding a good position, you wait for the privateers to come along. It turns out your position wasn't as good as you expected. They managed to get the drop on you instead. You suffer damage before you have a chance to react. Sigh. Well. Sorry about that. Perhaps decided to take a dive on me. So anyways, this should be a nasty combat. They've all got a lot of shields and things, and I got a bad feeling about this one. This might be nearer to the end of our journey than I would like, but... Let's see if we can resituate a couple things here and maybe pull on out of it. I don't know. No, go. What are you doing right now? Here, get him out of the way. Oh my god. Okay, so you guys all move to varying locations. Don't hang out right there. Let's go all in on him right now. Let's see what we can accomplish here. They're sharing a space, which I don't think should be allowed. I think that's a bug, actually. Take him out. We need to wait for our shields to come back up. I'm going to move him forward. We're going to divert our attention towards this guy down here. I think if I can get rid of... Well, Flower Power might be able to block him off. I don't know. If we move quicker, this might work. We'll see what happens over here. On this side, we might be able to make this work, too. So he's now dead. Who's got that big-ass missile that they're aiming at me? There's another one down. Oh, he's got the big-ass missile that he's aiming at me. Hooray! Well, with some careful maneuvering, it looks like we got out of this one. I don't know. Typically, the reason I call it like that is these tend to be the fights that kill me dead when I play by myself, so... It's worrisome whenever I come across one. Over here on this side, let's give him something to be confused about. He's only got a plasma thrower, so he actually technically can't really harm our vehicles much. All by his lonesome, because it only damages armor. That's the benefit of the plasma thrower, in case you were wondering. I need to get him a taunter very, very badly. I don't know if I reacted to that quickly enough. I'm going to have to assume that I did not. However, let's continue firing here. Can't seem to get him into the position I want him to go to, so I guess we'll just keep ramming our frame into his, and when he falls over and dies, we'll exclaim loudly and be like, Wee! yippee ki yay Which is the thing that... Some people might say in that situation, it appears the camp was a refueling station, you get eight fuel. That's not very much fuel. Not very much fuel. Alright, well, it set us a little bit ahead as far as the fuel curve goes. A group of Torvac vehicles approach your caravan demanding to scan it. We have determined you are a potential threat to Torvac. Prepare for annihilation. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started on him, I suppose. Convoy's about to take a little bit of a hit. Big missile out and dealing a lot of damage right there. That should be able to solve our raider problem on that side. Let's go ahead and disable his shield so we can get started DPSing him. I'm going to start wheeling this around to this side. 
Let's see if maybe blocking off line of sight right here is possible. Okay, that's another vehicle down. We have a pretty strong team right now, and we're surviving things that normally tend to be quite fatal for me. I need to divert his attention somehow. Oh, don't do that. Flower power, no! Get up out of the way! You don't want to be there, flower power. It ain't like that, homie. I would like to block him in this location, but it looks like he's going to outrun me, unfortunately. Yeah, he's going to outrun me. Okay, well, next thing's next, I guess. We'll start moving this direction. And once he's all taken care of... Actually, no, don't do that. Just keep firing. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. That's no funzes. Okay, well, we'll deal some damage over here. Flower power, get some loving in right now. Show them how things work back in the 60s. I'm going to start working on this dude, and we'll start rearranging some of our vehicles. The fights are getting a lot nastier. I need something to augment and make flower power useful to me, because as of right now, all I'm able to use him as is a stop block. He's got a Mark III shield, I think, so we might be able to use him. 43 and 12. Bloody Torvac, indeed. I'm going to go around this side. I'm probably going to regret it if we get hit right now. I'm definitely going to regret it, and I'll probably say a lot of bad words. We didn't get hit, though, so I'm happy. We got ourselves a buzzsaw. Oh, wow, he's got multiple. Okay. Means if we could find an aid unit, we'd be in better shape. No aid unit, though, I'm guessing down here, right? On the plus side, we don't need to buy fuel for once, which is odd for us. Still, we are a little bit wrecked up. We need to get to some kind of plan. Let's make it back to the Mercury. I don't know. We're just kind of floating right now. We can't seem to get ahead of the damage we're taking. I think the game caught up with us as far as the tech curve goes. And so it might be worth one last ditch effort. While well, making good time on the road, your scanner suddenly pick up several mines that have been placed. You have spotted the mines well in advance. You have managed to avoid them entirely. Got to keep your eyes peeled for traps in raider territory. Yes, indeed we do. Well, let's check this event down here. A signal appears to be coming from a band of raiders encircled around a young man wearing a really nice suit and some sunglasses talking on a cell phone. And listen in. The leader of the raiders is yelling very angrily at the man in the suit who keeps talking on his cell phone with a calm demeanor. He looks at the leader blankly. Within seconds, a phone in the bandit leader's vehicle rings. The leader picks it up and his face gets instantly pale. He begins yelling at his men and they all get back into their cars and leave. They're heading straight towards your convoy. Well, we're in okay shape to fight right now. Not like amazing shape, but it's enough. And these guys all actually look kind of weak. Take his spot right there. Don't let him go and ram him out of the way, too. I need you to be in his space. Did you just shoot yourself with your own missile, you dunce? He just blew himself up with his own missile. He should die right there, which gives me an opportunity to start ramming and jamming over here. Keep that aid unit working overtime right now. I guess you could say his truck has aids, I guess. Or aid. It's not really pluralized. Keep ramming. Okay, up this way. Let's go ahead and limit some of that DPS right now. Armor's already down again, as per usual. I probably should have rammed him into that rock. I don't know if it would have worked, though. Oh, never mind. That worked right there. Hell yeah. Okay, cancel that order. Everybody swing back around. Do kind of like a counterclockwise action. Clocks aren't that wise, though, so I don't know why they always say clockwise. Go down this way and commence the ram... It's kind of like commencing the jiggling. Commencing the ramming. Same concept. That enemy is now taken care of, and that leaves us with not a whole lot. Oh, we got an EMP mine layer. That's pretty cool. Whilst you're busy investigating the wrecks, the young man approaches your convoy. Let's hear it. After a quick glance, you suspect this man isn't much older than 18. He introduces himself as Arthur Frawley. You try to introduce yourself, but somehow he already knows who you are and that you're looking for parts to fix your ship and where it's landed. He offers to help you find the parts on one condition that when your ship is fixed, you take him with you. Sure. He grins widely. Excellent, Chief. Lead the way. So is Frawley any good? So I can't camp right here for right now. I guess we'll just go back this way. We'll figure it out. Stop in this little green zone over here. I want to look at Frawley's stuff and also put that EMP mine layer on me. Several vehicles approach your convoy. Through the cricked up stand you managed to... Ooh, the unmistakable marks of the local privateers. Sure. Ready the weapons. Let's throw down with them. I think we could take them. Ooh. Frawley, my friend. Frawley! What is this machine that you are currently a part of? Oh my. Ooh, that's not good. Wow, I can't believe that vehicle's still up and running. 
you shouldn't be able to heal yourself if you have full health. Like, it just seems spam happy that he's able to rip parts in, like, ridiculous amounts off of my... That thing is big, terrifying, and nasty, and so I kind of want to get rid of it. Help out with this over here, man. That thing's got a lot more HP though than we're normally used to dealing with. Knock out his shield and keep that thing going. On this side, we will continue. So we got two more vehicles over on this side. Did I lose somebody? No, I didn't. There it is right there. Okay. Let's get you out of harm's way for right now. Be all up in harm's curds if you want, but harm's way. They tend to get kind of grumpy about it. You over here, which one is healing? Get rid of that one right there. And then you move over to here and get rid of that one. See if you can help out somehow, because we need that thing to go. We need that thing to go right now, because it's really doing a lot of damage to us. Alright, so now that it's gone... Wait, another one just joined the convoy? Oh, dude, where are all these coming from? Lock him in. Don't let him come down here. Ram him out of the way. Yeah. Let him eat the proverbial cake of that wall. And then I need you to circulate this way. While you... Oop, nope, 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 nope. Woogie, no! Everybody out of the way. Everybody out of the way. Oh my god, there's so many complicated hazards happening right now. And I'm having trouble keeping track with my face holes. Okay, so that's good right there. If I pull you back, can you hit him? You can't. Well, here. You come down to here then. Hopefully nobody dies as a part of this little experiment. There's a little bit more damage done. Wow. That was a big fight right there. Like, we seriously just had to kill a lot of people. We got another mine layer. Things are starting to look up. Things are starting to look up right now. I know it doesn't seem like it, but actually, we have a solid chance of making a run on bosses now. I was going to say, our MCV wasn't good enough up until this point. But with where we're at, we actually just got two supplementary pieces of equipment that may have just dug us out of the ditch. Okay, and so using our extra scrap, let's increase his armor one more time. All right, so we should have, what is that, 65%? Okay, 65% reduction going to armor. And then what we want to do right now... Well, we don't really have a ton of options. And I don't know what the best choice is right now. But I think I'm going to try and run down the Torvac facility, I guess. You find a half-buried metal cylinder. Investigating, you find a variety of posters. After unrolling them, they all show scenes in which a happy family is side-by-side -side to robotic figures. All of the posters are accompanied by different inspirational texts. Torvag, bringing safety to your family. Safety through technology. Spend more time with your loved ones. Trust in Torvac. There's nothing else in the cylinder that's worth anything, so you decide to get rid of what you found and continue on your way. Maybe having Torvac stuff with us, though, will convince them not to blast us or unleash the brook on our faces the next time they see us. You ever think about that, though? You gotta think about alternative methods for deflection while you're in these situations. Oh, maybe it's just me. We should probably hit all these events while we're down here, too. You investigate the wreck of a broken-down privateer vehicle. You strip it and get 200 bolts? Oh my god! Hell yes! Notice a smoking privateer vehicle in the distance. It's emitting an emergency signal. As you approach the privateer, you see him look relieved. Hello there, matey. I seem to be down on my luck. I don't suppose you could help me out. I'll make it worth your while. Sure. Repair it. Thanks a lot. That was the third damn time my vehicle has broken down. I was busy looking for a fabled treasure, you see, using this here treasure map that I got. Considering my luck, though, I think it's cursed. Seeing as I owe you a reward, how about I, uh, you take it off my hands? Okay. Hope that map treats you better. Best of luck, matey. Well, maybe we'll get something out of this. Who knows? I don't know. I think I finished that quest one time, but I don't remember what you got. The radio signal turns out to be a distress call. A KGL trading company caravan is being attacked by privateers, and they're asking for help. Their coordinates aren't too far from here. Head towards the fight. You soon spot the skirmish. It turns out most of the caravan has already been destroyed, but the few remaining vehicles are busy fighting the privateers. Let's go help them out. I want to stay on the good... Didn't we wipe out KGL at the beginning, though? I don't know. We may or may not have. I'm kind of a dick like that. I don't even remember all the people that I've slighted at this point. He's got mega missiles over there. We got all kinds of nastiness coming straight at us. Okay, well, looks like we're going to take some damage right there. There's not much we're going to be able to do about it. Let's bring him in. I'm going to have him ram this vehicle right here. He's losing a lot of health right now by trying to support it. We've got a shot right there. That'll lower his shield down. What I'd like to do right there is we'll put a mine on him. Down he goes. It's more like a grenade in all honesty. You don't actually have to set the mines. You can fire them directly at people if you want to. The flower power. What do I want to do with you right now? We do have a lot of repairing taking place. 
Let's consider driving this back towards here. I'd like to keep them corralled. Actually, you stay right here and just work on him for right now. We're at a safe distance. We'll fire that to right there. And we've been disabled right at the same time that we disabled him. That's okay, though, because it doesn't really hurt my feelings that much. The flower power, I figure, rather than just having him sit around and do nothing, it's probably a decent plan to throw down a little bit over here. We've got an EMP mine that'll knock down his shield. Oh, no, it stuns him. Never mind. Okay, we'll throw a mine at him then. I guess it stuns you through your shield. That was a stipulation that I was currently unaware of. I had no idea that that's how that worked. Buzzsaw. Attack right there. I would love to get an aid unit on him right now. An aid unit or a taunter is what we really need on him, but unfortunately I sold the one that I found. As you defeat the final privateer vehicle, you return to the KJL Trading Company caravan, or at least what's left to it. They thank you profusely, and they regret to inform you they're mostly transporting food cues, but they can offer you 155 as a way of saying thanks. Cool. We're rolling, 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 and pots keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Come on! Let's go to the next camp and see what we can wrangle out here because we got money to spend. My pockets are feeling heavy. My pockets are feeling heavy, and that's a good thing. Campity time. I mean, some of this is obviously going to have to go towards repairs, and I can't really... Oh, man, I just accidentally repaired something at the wrong time. Some of this is going to have to go towards money. Yeah, money spent as fuel as well because we got to keep the engines burning. However, we've got turbos down in here. We've got a medium rocket artillery. Is everybody fully equipped right now? Like, he's missing... Okay, so he's missing a supplementary unit. Over here, we could get rid of that little machine gun. He's still using aid and a heavy MG. This would be the time where I would say it's probably a wise idea to go after... Handling or something. The buzzsaw not really helping out that much. Wish we could find an aid unit or a taunter. An aid unit or a taunter and we would really be secured in our future. I'd be able to use this one to tank. I could keep the armor filled up and we should be good the entire time. I can then start buffing them by spending a whole bunch of bolts getting things finished off. However... Doesn't look like that's going to be available, so... Let's see what we can do with some of these guys. Let's give him a little bit more health. A little bit of mind guard. Basically get our level 1 upgrades in. Just a little bit of something to make the road a little bit less weary. If he can have more range, I think that's a decent plan. Yeah, throw in on those right there. What is he using? Auto cannon 60 millimeters? My god. Those things are beefy. That is a huge gun right there. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Convoy. I think I'm going to duck out for right now, and I will see you all later. I hope you're enjoying the series. This is one of those games that I'm kind of 50-50 on. I sort of enjoy it, but then other times I'm just like, Ugh, when RNG hits me, and I, no doubt you can tell. I think that a lot of the random nature of this game, sets, it tends to set me off my appetite. However, I've been playing it a lot, and so that says something too. So anyways, I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody.